Lois's lunch is a spot. You don't ask for any ketchup on your burger. Don't get it twisted. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, she made me a dame drops back in with another super office show. Food if you can't dig it, baby, and I know you can't hate, listen, man. So dig, baby, I'm over here in New Haven, Connecticut. I want to take you guys to the original home of the first hamburger. That's right, established in 1895, Lois's Lunch downtown New Haven has been getting it popping, serving up the people something proper. I got my main man, Reggie Reg, holding me down on the camera. So I'm gonna take you in for a little something something, but we're still gonna eat it right here in the car. You know how we get down, nothing changes, the game stays the same, let's go. Out here in New Haven, Connecticut, I'm taking that uh, long walk over to Lois's Lunch. I'm on Crown Street as you can see. My man Reggie Reg is definitely holding us down. Yes sir. How you doing today, right, boss? how are you? All right, all right. And uh, Reg, I mean, this is gonna be for the individuals that come from out of town. They're not familiar with New Haven, Connecticut. So pay attention because you could easily miss Lois's lunch if you want to get your hungry on. So I'll make sure Reg shows you some of the buildings that are around it. Word money. Worby, worby. See me filming, cousin? That's how you gotta talk to people. I know you ain't playing no games. Come on. I know y'all hungry. We got a little tequila bar up over here. Reg, you ever been up in there? Nah, and you know the crazy thing? What's up? You ever see ants on a piece of french fry on the ground? Yeah. That's exactly what this whole building looks like at night. Oh, for real? Good luck getting in, and when you in there, good luck getting out. Okay, then we definitely gonna have to show them some love, you know what I mean? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Peep game, the street itself is a one-way street. You're only coming up, you're not going down this street. You're coming up the street, Lois's lunch is gonna be right here. Off to my left, it's going to be on your right side as you come up the street. Established in 1895, the home of the original hamburger. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the quick New Haven tour bringing us directly to Lois's Lunch on Crown Street. But something I did notice, and I'm gonna bring you in for it momentarily, the fry game is non-existent. And when I say the fry game is non-existent, do not expect to grab a burger and some french fries of any assortment. That's not going down. They do, however, have potato chips. Pow, straight like that. Ooh, nice little quaint, small sandwich bag. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. Couple napkins, wipe the sweat off my brow. Psst, psst, that's what I'm talking about. Let me bring you in for more, yes? Now, as you can see, this is just regular, uh, regular bread right here, nothing crazy. You saw the loaves of bread. If not, let me put them back up for you once again. You see how they toast the bread. So it's gonna be lightly toasted. Nice little crispy onion. I know the cheese is underneath, so I'll pull it off. Now this is steamed, steamed beef that you're looking at right here. Nothing flame broiled. They broke off the straight old school steamed beef style. You see how thick the beef game is. The beef game is real proper. Let me show you that thickness one more time. Mm. 
the best way that I can describe the bite of Lois's lunch, original hamburger, I'm gonna tell you right now, I hate the bread game. I hate it, man. I, I hate the direction that it went because the bread is hella soggy, B. Like, look, look, look. Look at the bread, look at the bread game. Look, look what the beef does to the bread game right here. You see this? You see, you see the extra song? You like, you remember the never ending story? Where our tray on our tax and you know what I'm saying our tax was about to get sucked in by the nothing and then when you looked at that particular scene everything looked all droopy everything was on heavy lean sunken in depressing that's the bread on my burger it's depressing B this burger comes with activator just let your soul glow yeah cuz uh, it's dripping all over the place but when I close my eyes because of the steamed beef, it really tastes like White Castle, a really thick White Castle burger. The flavor, make sure you get it with onions. If you like tomatoes, I know plenty of you do. Get down with your tomato game because you know what the onions are gonna do. The grilled onion game on my steamed cheeseburger is straight crazy. I'm talking about flavors for your face officially. Now I'm gonna close my eyes for this rating because I wanna respect the nostalgic value of this burger. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give this bad boy, aside from the sloppy copy bread, a three and a half. Y'all know what it is, your main man Dame Drops, giving you this word work. When it comes down to super official food reviews, baby, I want you to tune in and rock out with me every Wednesday or Friday. And of course, get down with the Team Dame Cooking Show, rocking with my man JP every single Monday. So you know how we get down. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, more, and more, and more, super official, why this bread so sloppy, fuck with you scared dick baby, I know you can't, hey listen man, <laughs> as you order, Ooh, let me open that up on you. Ooh, nice and smooth. Handle it, okay? This is that barbecue pulled pork game. Soft bun, eggs, seasoned breakfast potatoes, a nacho cheese sauce, bacon, topped with freshly prepared pico de gallo.